Hey guys, so we're here with this turbo that we did a short little reel on the other day and we're going to disassemble this turbo so we can show you what it looks like inside. So let's start off with the, uh, the turbine housing and uh, see what we find. I'm just going to speed this part of the video up so that you don't sit here getting bored watching me loosen bolts on a turbine housing. Okay, so we have the turbine housing removed with all of its fasteners. Let's have a look at the rotating assembly. There's no contact made between the housings or anything. So we've got a nice fuel burn, as you can see, looks pretty good. There's no oil leakage, there's no carbon buildup. So the rotating assembly, or should I say the bearing system and the sealing system is still good. It's all inlet or outlet. Right, let's get the compressor housing off. Is the o-ring and here is what the inside of this compressor housing looks like it's uh, obviously very dirty and you can see the inside of the housing there I mean this has been running like this for a while you are running it like that for quite a long time that's obviously why you can't even get this stain out of the housing Right, no oil leakage from behind the compressor wheel, so the sealing system is intact. And uh, you can clearly see that there's, there's uh, some markings on the edge of those blades from the ingested sand and the side of the housing. I'm going to take this compressor wheel off so that I can show you where you should be looking to see where the actual impact damage occurs on a compressor wheel after being... Uh, exposed to a dust out. Compressor wheel. Right, let's have a look at this compressor. If you look at the bottom of the blade, have a look at the difference in color between the shiny top of the blade that section there that is still obviously raw aluminium and compare it to the underside of the blade. All the blades underneath have this appearance of being sandblasted and that's because they have been sandblasted. If you feel the leading edge of the blade it has a slightly rough feel to it but the material we use is really really tough and it's designed specifically for rally applications where you'll, you're expecting to have some sort of dust exposure or ingestion of fine particle and that's why the leading edge of these blades are not in actual fact damaged. The underside you can clearly see has been sandblasted. Compressor wheel still intact, obviously the contact or the, the blasting between the edge of the blade and the housing has caused um, a little bit of wear but uh, usually what you'd find when a compressor wheel is exposed to dust ingestion is the edge of these blades where the corner sits actually starts to round and I'll, I'll share some photos of a compressor wheel that is exposed to a, a dust out with you guys so you can see clearly what that looks like. Alright guys, so here is an example of uh, 
dust ingestion and look at the corners of the blades you'll see they're rounded and you'll actually see there's a the same appearance underneath the blade that shows you a media blasted type effect but look at the corner of the blade on the tip over there you can actually see that it's that's where you impact it's the first part of the compressor wheel that will actually come into contact with anything that comes past the air filter and that is typically what happens when you in ingest dust the edges of the blade start to round like. and this hasn't happened in this specific case once again testament to the materials we use however you can feel a slight rough roughness if you wish on the edge of that blade Okay, turbine wheel still intact. See the ring over there is still good. There's no oil leakage. This turbocharger ran extremely hot. Um, I'm covering something up here because there's some uh, some secrets that we have and uh, there's intellectual property that we don't share in terms of the shaft and the actual design of the rotating assembly, which uh, we'll keep to ourselves for now. I thought I'd uh, share this with you guys and just share a little bit more about what this poor turbocharger went through. We'll obviously rebuild this turbo for the client. Turbine housing is still intact and can be reused. That's not an issue. So we're just gonna be reusing the turbine housing and replace everything else. Compressor housing is still good. It's still within tolerance, although it doesn't look like it. It, it looks a lot worse than it actually is. Uh, we can just put this onto the CNC and just machine a, a 0.1 0 0.1 millimeter uh, additional clearance in there and that will clean that uh, that surface up